Yep, here I am into my third mile. When I started out this morning, I did not feel like doing any of this. But it's starting to come, the payoff that, I don't know how to describe it, it's a wellspring of energy that comes late in my exercise that just makes me say, God, I'm thankful I did this. Consistency, discipline, pays off, I promise. As 2023 dawns a bright new day, there's a lot of fog. <laughs> fog is so thick this morning you could cut it with a knife. But it's the dawn of a new day, January 1st, 2023. I'm so thankful to have the energy and the strength to get up and do this. You know, the month of December has been a real season of trial for me. Having to uh, start a new job that has me working the graveyard shift has been rough on me in a lot more ways than I expected it would be. You know, I, uh, I was up late. I don't even know how to describe it anymore. I was up in the middle of the night because that's when I am up lately for my job. And unfortunately, that's what I have to do for this, this season of difficulty. And hopefully it's leading to a good purpose. But I noticed... Uh, I got, a, I got a notice from my, my health app on my phone that pointed out that the last 28 days, my resting heart rate rate has been increased by almost 20% over what it was before. And I did a video talking about resting heart rate and how that's such an important factor for your health. Well, I've got to say, a lot of you have commented about how it's not worth it doing a job like this when it's uh, keeping you up all night and messing with your circadian rhythm. Well, the one thing I can agree with you on is it is bad for your health. It's not an easy thing to have to do. But as I've told many people when they've mentioned this, this is a season that I have to go through right now. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of other alternatives. I'm doing what I have to do to provide for my family. And any good man would do the same. I really hope that uh, something comes open in this particular place I work at that allows me to have a normal schedule. The company pays well and has good benefits. But you know, if it's not that, it's gonna be something else. I have faith the Lord's gonna bring me to the place he wants me to be, as long as I can suffer through with faith. That's just the way it works. I believe that. And uh, I'd be wrong if I didn't share it with you. But one thing I can tell you is we all go through seasons of difficulty. And I know a lot of us are going through a season of difficulty right now. A lot more than normal. So I'm coming here to encourage you that even though I've been going through a season of difficulty, I'm still pressing on. Because I know the answer lies in discipline and consistency. <laughs> discipline in my faith. Consistency in my faith. Discipline in my work. Consistency in my work. Discipline in my exercise, my nutrition, consistency in both. I know that these are gonna lead to good things. I know it. I know that when you stick with it, when you do what you need to do every day and you don't make excuses, you're gonna achieve the things that you need to achieve. You're gonna find the place that you need to be in and it's gonna take you to a better season. And then there will be other seasons that come that are difficult but you'll be prepared for those when they come. Staying disciplined and consistent. We make all the excuses in the world we wanna make when we wanna do what we wanna do. But if you wanna have victory in this, consistency and discipline are gonna be key. And no excuses are allowed. There's tons of reasons not to do what you know you need to do. But there just are no excuses. You gotta have it inside you. Now, I'm glad you guys come here and watch my videos, but I would be as bad as the doctors that keep us all hooked on drugs if I didn't tell you you've got to find it inside you 
to get up and do what you got to do every day. On the flip side, it's nice to have a community that helps us hold each other accountable. So I hope you'll keep coming back for that. Because if I can hold myself accountable, because I have to come back and show you that I haven't quit, then I want you to hold yourself accountable, that you're not going to quit either, that you're going to do the things you need to do to take care of your body and your mind and your spirit so that you can be there for those that you love and do the things that you need to do to protect your family and your community and your nation and to be a part of something good going on in the world with so much evil on the march these days we need a lot more people focused on the good things doing the right things and i hope that i've been able to inspire many people to do good things for themselves for just this reason you know i had a comment yesterday talking about uh all the things going on in the world involving the world health organization and bill gates and all that stuff the reason i don't talk about that is that's focusing on the problem i like to focus on the solutions and the solution is going to be found in us getting up and doing it each one of us individually digging deep down inside when it's the hardest time you know a lot of you may not know that i've been actually sick these past three days my son came home a week ago with an illness and he's had a fever for the last three or four days and somehow it's only been a mild sore throat for me and i've been able to push through but i can only account that this consistency with diet and exercise has made that difference because i was always the type that stayed sick longer than everyone else so if you're needing a little inspiration to get up and do it you got to reach down and grab somewhere deep in that gut of yours that tells you i'm going to get up and do it today screw it i'm going to get up and do it and then get up and do it make the changes you need to make so that you can be healthy i'll see you guys next time happy new year if we pay extra could we maybe get some grease or fat